Hi guys, I'm I'm Pacific and oh my gosh. There's a lot of like What? Do I fall? I don't know. I died. Big deal. I don't really care about that salt, but anyway, welcome back to another episode of Salt and Sanctuary. This time we're in the village of smiles because I don't think I actually no, back off, you wyvern bat. There, I got him, okay. So, we're in the village because I really have no idea, like, I missed something because I never, I never actually beat this level. Like, ever. So, it, oh, I never actually have gone up here. But, my character's probably way too beefed up. Never mind. My character's definitely a little bit, uh, over-leveled for this, this particular area. But I think there was, like, a, a downstairs... I remember vaguely there was, like, a downstairs area that we kept falling into... Frick, man, I don't remember any of this. It was good. That's good, though. Yep. Okay. So... Definitely seems like an area that at least I have. Oh, there's a bronze knight. Yeah, I haven't been in this area yet. Screw off, bronze knight. Okay, that was that guy wasn't too hard to beat. And it seems like whenever I kill a bronze knight, it's kind of like defeating a boss and they don't come back. So this is an area which I haven't been in. Okay, you got a stone. Obelisk guide thing. What does this say? Beware of sword monster. I don't care about a sword monster. There we go. Found the boss. You swore. This is gonna be easy. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, she is definitely a sword monster. But. She hurts. That's for sure. Lady, you're easy. Maybe not, actually. Maybe I shouldn't be messing around like this, but... Gotta drink up a flask. Come on, lady! Ooh. Huh. One, two, dead. Yep, I'm a little too overleveled for this, but I unlocked a new pathway, which is what I really wanted to do. There we go, I got it. Nice. I just really wanted to uh, get a pathway here, because these things probably lead to different areas. Alright. More barrels. What is this going to give me, huh? Chef stuff. I don't really need that. Is there a way I can get rid of items? Because I'm carrying way too many items. At least for my taste. Open door. Hello. Okay, yep. This is weird. Wait, did we already go through this level? Oh, this is just an item. Blood flower charm. Hold on. Is it... what? Okay. Hmm. So it seems I should be wearing these. Uh, these... I'm just looking here. Nah, none of those. Nothing interesting. All right. So like, oh, here's what this stuff does: attack power, attack speed, reach. I'm gonna go ahead and add speed to this class, and I'm gonna add. Can I put them on both? Oh, I can. I like attack speed. And I died. Holy. That was above the first level. 
Interesting. Well, I'm not going to go... I, there's no way I'm going back to the first level to get that salt. But... I need to check, because it didn't give me a key. Did I get the key? Um... Inventory. I would like to look at... Uh, not that, no. Where do I look at keys? I have a lot of red shards, too, which is good. Um... There was a way to look at keys, but I don't know. Alright, well, oh, jeez. Um... Interesting. It's actually a good amount of attack speed. Um... I don't know, guys. I mean, this area I, I recognize, but this is like the dungeon part. Where I just kind of walked around and collected stuff. Weird. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, skip to a part where I actually figure out something, don't, like where something is. Did I ever go this way? No. I didn't. I got a black pearl. So that... That opened up a gate. There's a door over there. But I never went this way. Okay. Yeah. I, uh, uh oh. Top of the morning to you, laddie. Oi, traveler. Well met. That's actually American. Call me Fern. I've been hiding out here for some time. See any trinkets? I lost a small pouch of earth. Ah, uh, no. Shame. It's like, what if the small pouch of earth was directly behind him? That would be pretty funny. And we're in the forest. Got it. So we've been in that section of the forest before. Oh, I would like a torch. Alright, so... New area. Gate to some, of some kind. Haymaker. So what? Oh... I know where I am. I'm in another section of the forest, but what's down here? Oh, shoot. This is all dark, by the way. So I got the torch. Like, I have no idea where I am right now. I'm under the woods, I guess. Well met, salt bone. I am not like you, bone of salt. I am born of that life that flickers like flame. Okay. Have fun. I'm probably gonna die or something. I am summoned by the Sog of Souls, spelled by and candlelight written down by the Shandburn. Your world is cold and stifling. stifling. My light is fleeting here. Bye. Oh, um, cleanse. You're not corrupt. How about forgive sin? With salt, your, re your record of sin can be seared away. Okay, well that is weird. Don't know why that's there, but I found it, so that's good, right? Alright, so in the we're back like kind of in the forest section. And it seems as though we didn't actually need to kill the lady in the Village of Smiles. But I'm going to go ahead and um, end the episode off because, I don't know, like, it's kind of useless being like, oh, we went to the Village of Smiles, now we're back here, just whatever. So thank you guys for watching this episode of Salt and Sanctuary. That was a little bit of like a backtrack episode. But in the next episode, I'm going to see if I can figure out how to get into the fortress. I really don't, I don't want to use guides for this just because I kind of feel like it's a little cheatsy and it's a little bit like I don't know like just doesn't fit with how Salt and Sanctuary really is supposed to play be played which is hard as well as you discovering everything on your own and I mean like I'm wandering around and I'm killing stuff so I mean I'm leveling up in the process which is always a good thing. So thank you guys for watching this episode. Subscribe if you're new because I will be playing more Salt and Sanctuary. I'm I'm Pacific. And please, kill every single one of these watch feeder, wretch feeder things that you see. Just, just please, they, they deserve to die.